viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Marcos El Chingón. Hope everyone's doing well and uh, yeah, let's get this started. Today's Shea Soap will be. This is Light Blue from Master Soap's creation in collaboration with Jason at the Razor Company. And uh, Master, Master Soap Creations is a gentleman artisan from uh, South Africa. And he collabor collaborated with Jason on this. Uh, set here and this is uh the razor company exclusive which is available right now and the shave soap and aftershave which is right here and uh this is inspired from the scent Dul dulce in cabana light blue And uh, yeah, I can tell you it's a it's a very masculine citrus forward scent. It's what I get when I smell it. And uh, this is light blue for home. What is the questions of joy of life and seduction, capturing the energy of beautiful and sunny Mediterranean Sea? Excuse me. Light blue opens up refreshing bergamot, juicy, sun-drenched Sicilian mandarin, and the frozen grapefruit peel of aromatic Jupiter. Jupiter. And the hard Sicilian pepper sensual rosewood gives him strong masculine, masculinity, and an understated blend of American muskwood, incense, and oak moss. Establish innate sexiness. And this is a... Uh, I believe is a vegan soap. I don't see no tallow on here on this uh, formula. As I'm reading here, I don't see no, uh, it's not a tallow base, so I believe it's a uh, vegan. I'll be putting down in the description down below. But yeah, I, I actually went to the department store to go smell this fragrance here and uh, it smelled really, really good. And I, when I found out about it, I uh, I went to the Navy Exchange, is where my fiance uh, works, and they sell cologne dupes there. I mean, they sell the real things, not cologne dupes. This is a cologne dupe here, inspired from Dulce Gabbana. But they sell uh, the real thing, Holyfield uh, fragrances there. And uh, I happened to go to the store, and they had Dulce Gabbana light blue there, and I smelled it. And... Uh, I'll show you a picture of it right now. So yeah, that was the fragrance in the picture and uh, I had to go to try it out. And as soon as I fell in love with the, uh, the, the fragrance, I had to buy, uh, as, far, as, soon as, as, as soon as I found out this scent was inspired by Light Blue, I had to go, I had to grab it from the Razor Company. And I'm so happy I did because uh, the scent is very, very similar to it. At a, a 10 scale, I gave it an 8. And the uh, sim, sim, similarity of the uh, scent, it's very similar to it. And uh, I'm so glad I, ha I have it now. But uh, I'm about to use this soap here and uh, give it a go. I've been lathering it here. So uh, I'm going to be lathering it a little bit more. I'm going to use a badger brush. This is my... Uh, Tansy brush from uh, Ryan Tansy and it sports a uh, 26 uh, 28 millimeter badger knot this two band but let me uh, drip some uh, water here to my knot and uh, yeah let's get this uh, shave started <laughs> weeks growth on the face
I found master soaps to be very dense. Very dense, uh, thick soap. Very, very easy to lather. I have enough water here in my knot. So yeah, this is a mid-strong scent as I smell it from the tub and it, as I'm lathering on the face. It's mid-strong and it's uh, very enjoyable. The fragrance that's coming out of the soap here, the lather. I enjoy it very much. I have a very dense lather here on my face already. And I was mentioning you don't even have to work the soap that much. It's very easy. Very easy to lather. And I got plenty here on my uh, knot for uh, multiple passes. <laughs> Alright, let's clean up here some. Let's clean the runways. Beautiful smelling soap. It's my type of scent. I love cologne type scents, and uh, this is one of them right here. All right, let's get the shave started. I'm gonna be uh, shaving with my Japanese razor. This is a uh, Fuji 1700 uh, Swedish steel square. Uh, point uh six eights and uh this was a birthday gift from my friend juanito all the way in canada so if you're watching this my friend thank you very much i really appreciate you and this birthday gift here this razor here it shaves like a dream and i really love the edge on this razor here all right let's get this started here i got about two weeks growth on the face i have not touched my face with any type of steel within two weeks so I'm ready for the shave here. As you can see, very dense lather here. Which I'm gonna be wiping it off right now. And the razor is cutting. Collecting my shavings from my uh, ladder. <laughs> and the soap is uh creamy. Very creamy and hydrating as well. It has great post shave feel. I found it to be uh, a great hydrating, moisturizing post shave.
once again. I don't know if you can see the black there, but that's the hair. Good enough. All right, let me get a rinse here, a little rinse here. Oh yeah, that felt really good to take that growth off. My face is really smooth too. It's not feeling tacky whatsoever. Great soap here. Pass two. Got enough lather here to uh, lather up. It's been hot here lately. San Diego, California weather. It's really muggy, really, really hot. And, uh, really hot I've been experimenting very hot weather and this I would say this uh, type of setting here is great for the summer all right I got enough ladder there Alright, I'm all lathered up for pass two, so let's start with pass two against the grain. Very enjoyable fragrance that I'm getting with the soap here. I'm enjoying it very much. All right, almost done here. Beautiful scent here. I enjoyed it through my whole shave and I highly recommend the scent here. If you like that citrus cologne type scent, <laughs> this is a great one. You don't want to miss it. It's available right now at the Razor Company. You get a rinse here. Like I was mentioning, my face feels very, very nice and moisturized. Feels great and uh, great cushion to the soap. Very slick. Great post shave feel as well. Got the matching aftershave here. Light blue. Uh, let me get it. Uh, let me give it a a good uh, shake before I apply it. This is a witch hazel alcohol. Witch hazel uh, based alcohol splash. And the soap, and this uh, aftershave smells exactly like the soap.
What a great shave, exception with those uh, two little small weepers there on my cheek, on my uh, side brother. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. This was uh, Light Blue from Master Soap Creations, Razor Company exclusive uh, collaboration. Make sure you check it out. Thank you very much, Jason, for providing uh, great products in your store. And uh, I very much in enjoyed this soap here. And thank you to uh, the artisan from South Africa. Thank you very much everyone, for joining me. And I really appreciate y'all. To recap, I use my uh, tan, see? Badger, two band. Matches the label of my uh, the soap. <laughs> and the after aftershave splash, where I just splashed on right now. Uh, witch hazel alcohol based. My uh, Japanese razor. Six eighths uh, square point. Uh, Swedish steel, 1700, Fuji. And uh, just wanted to mention real quick that the the soap does have uh, tallow weight in it. I just read it through the uh, label itself right here on the top. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in before I close out the video. The tallow based soap. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care and God bless you all.